Oh, hi guys, and welcome back. So we finally made it to the monthly layout. And I'm gonna have to admit, like, this is the first monthly layout that I've made in a while. So uh, I gotta figure out what I wanna use here. And since this is an undated planner, I do have to find some like date stickers and how about these ones? I believe these uh, were originally for a mini happy planner. Yeah, <laughs> mini happy planner. Um, but I think they'll do just fine. Uh, okay, so I've already made like the little mini January calendar uh, that's in, uh, I don't even know what they call them, the overview pages, maybe I gotta, I gotta flip through it. 12 month planning pages. <laughs> so, God, I've seen so many pages. <laughs> so many. I don't even know which ones I'm looking at. Okay. So, instead of doing, like, anything funky, I'm just gonna try to keep this as, um, you know, basic as possible. <laughs> and... Yeah, see, we, we've already just made it to the third one, and now I'm just like, oh god, like I completely forgot how long and tedious <laughs> this is, but it's okay. It's gonna look cute, and we're gonna fill it in as the month goes, and I'm actually going to do my monthly layouts again, um, because, like, in the original printed form, they had all of your... Uh, monthly pages in the front of the planner and they were like far away from the actual weekly pages and like I did I did good um in January and February and it, it just seemed to like fall apart by March so um, what I did this time around if you didn't see the video where I put the thing together um I chose to print it like not in order and oh god that took forever too uh <laughs> but i mean hey it's worth it and um yeah i made it to where the monthly pages literally come right before the weeks of that month in the planner uh i'm kind of hoping that you know with it being right next to the dashboard or not the dashboard why do i keep calling it a dashboard they're dividers <laughs> I am sleep deprived. I think it's official. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of hoping that with these pages like right next to the divider, and of course I'm going to have to flip that divider every time I go to use the weekly page, that it's going to be a friendly reminder of like, hey, check your monthly layout. Because, you know, this can be a pretty powerful page if it's used. <laughs> I do know, like when I had my passion planner, uh, th that was the one year that I can actually say I constantly used the monthly layout. Like, I've never used a monthly layout like I did in the Passion Planner. <laughs> so, that's what we're going to try to do here today. I do, like, we, we are in a Hemlock and Oak printable. But as you can see, like, it's a super clean layout. Um, so you can modify this thing really any way that you want it. So I'm going to try to incorporate some of those passion plenary things into it. Uh, just because that system did work really well for me. Uh, the main part here is getting the thing dated. <laughs> it just takes forever, I swear it does. And, uh, see we're almost there. We are almost there, and this one is fighting me. It does not want to come off the sticker page. But, uh, okay, let's see here. There we got 28. Too bad it wasn't February in the normal year. We would have been done. But, uh, okay, so, like I said, almost there, guys. And I actually had to go back and look at, like, one of my old layouts just to see what my sidebar was, because I do remember I had it different. Uh, again, like, I do try to follow the Passion Planner format, but I did switch it up some, uh, just because I'm an introvert, like, I'm not really, not really going anywhere. <laughs> when that's, uh, I know it wasn't the wish list, what is it, the bucket list? I mean, the bucket list literally is the bucket list, okay? <laughs> if I even do three of those things, it's a good year, <laughs> But hey, I mean, you never know. Um, with the exception of 2019, I did a lot of things. 
So, uh, let's start adding some color to this page. And I did go ahead and uh, pencil these in uh, quickly before we started filming because I didn't want James to have to wait forever. So, like I said, uh, we're kind of doing the passion plannery thing. Uh, I believe there's just like people to see, places to go, and things to learn, maybe. Um, I do things to craft. <laughs> Things to eat <laughs> and uh, things to watch and read. <laughs> Those are all, f uh, well, I guess it's not three, it's four. Four very good list. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Which I, I am actually excited for the crafting ones. Uh, hopefully this does, like, uh, give me that friendly reminder for the crafting again because I have kind of fallen away from that. Uh, just, uh, I don't know what's been, well, I mean, I've been sick, so maybe that's what it is. Got sick in September, then of course, you know, October was just a beat down while I was still sick then too, and was it, November was okay, but I mean, by then I was just cranky, and uh, yeah, December got sick again, so... <laughs> Uh, it's, I think the thing that made me upset the most is that fall time is my favorite season and like I couldn't do any of my fall things. <laughs> it just ruined, ruined my fall. But I mean, hey, I've been feeling pretty good these last couple of days, so this is going swimmingly well here. And uh, okay, so this is something new that I'm adding down here. So like what we went over for the month overview where it's asking like what goals and that you're going to be working on uh, for the month. I'm going to just go ahead and add that on to the monthly layout as well. Um, just to me, I don't think you could have it stated um, too many times. <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to break it down into like smaller steps over here in this blank space because we do got a lot of empty room on that page. So... Let's see here, I never wrote the month in either. That's normally the first thing that I do. So I just must have really been excited to mess with those date stickers. <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't fill in the sidebar uh, like before the month. What I do is like I'll come up with a craft item and then I'll be like, okay, so that's what I'm going to work on and then I'll list it and then I'll check it off. Um, same thing with the eating and that, because, I mean, you never know. Those are things that just, like, kind of hit you weird. <laughs> it's like one moment you got a craving for, like, a brownie hot fudge sundae, and it's like, bam, that's what I'm eating this month. Um, unless it's something that I, like, really look forward to, um, like apple dumplings or something like that, then I'll mark it. So, um, let's see here. Uh, these ones are going to be, like, little monthly trackers, and... Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let it dry. I'm just going to let it dry. We will fix that later. Uh, I'm trying to make two separate <laughs> monthly trackers. I was just about ready to tell you. It's like, this is what I love about this planner the most is the fact that it has grid lines and like everything centers perfectly in these monthly squares because they're nine... Uh, boxes across so you just do the two on the ends and that gives you seven so you got like a perfect like little week tracker or you got a monthly tracker uh, most of the time I don't even use the ruler I just freehand it just probably what happened here but uh, what I do is I just basically make a mini calendar and this is going to be our checkoff spot so uh, I guess this is how we're really going to know did I avoid the credit cards? <laughs> Did I do my workouts? Uh, well, no, because the boxes are going to be checked in. <laughs> I seriously can't believe I drew that line the whole way across. I even dotted it. I dotted it to tell myself, like, this is where you need to stop. And what I do goes straight across. <laughs> uh, like I said, I, I am definitely tired, guys. And I guess I want to go the opposite way here because I'm right-handed again it's been a while since I've made one of these I no what is it I don't even freehand the weekly ones I just check them off 
<laughs> it's been a while since I've made a monthly tracker, okay? Okay, so let's just build those little boxes. Get them all done with, filled in. Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> and I, I do want to just take this moment right now and just say thank you all for uh, the kind comments that I've been receiving on these videos. It's nice whenever you do actually receive them because it lets you know that the time you spend in on the videos was, you know, actually worth it. Uh, somebody's actually watching it and they're enjoying it. I guess that's the most important part. And uh, here we go. Here's some white label paper to the rescue. So now you don't even know that I drew right across that. So that's a quick and easy way of putting little monthly trackers in there. So, um, okay, so I'm just going to highlight these now. And like I said, I'm going to take... Like, we had bigger goals in the goal setting area, and of course we broke them down into four easy, more manageable steps. And of course I'm going to be working on one of those steps for this month. And now I'm going to break it down into smaller, more actionable steps to achieve that mini goal so that I could get the bigger goal. <laughs> uh, so... Let's see here. Like I said, I wanted to create and add more stickers to my shop for the month of January. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to design the stickers, which is the easy part for me. I could do that all day. Then I'm going to have to go to Canva. This is normally where I stop. <laughs> so i got to go to Canva. i got to make those little Etsy things. And guys, I messed up again. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of white label paper on this one today man oh my god um but yeah no i gotta go to canva i gotta make those pretty little pictures for us to look at on etsy and then of course i gotta list them on etsy uh, and then of course i gotta check the inventory make sure everything's okay there uh, don't want any surprises and then of course i gotta advertise the things <laughs> And yeah, so this is my extra payments list. Uh, I do keep track of this in the budget planner as well. I just thought it would be nice to put it in this one too, just because, you know, I do have the extra payments as one of my uh, goals for the month of January. So I think these are pretty well-rounded. I think it gives me a good start to the year. And okay, so... Normally, I would decorate, like, any of the empty space at the bottom of this, but seeing that this is my first monthly layout here for a while, I think I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. <laughs> we'll decorate it as, like, the weeks go on. I normally write, like, my favorite thing that happened during the day. Um... For these type of days, though, I do pre-write in them. So, of course, the first is New Year's. <laughs> and, okay, let's see here. I do got some work-related things here. So, let's see here. On the third, I start the new shifts. And I'm going to go ahead and just write in um, when I start. Because, <laughs> you know, our shifts do change a lot. So I do like to try to keep track of like, oh yeah, that's right. That's whenever we had the two o'clock shift. That's when we had the three o'clock shift. That's when we had the four o'clock shift. That's when I had the 10 o'clock shift. <laughs> and I do like to see like how my ability to complete task uh, changes with my work shifts. And of course we got an act 80 day on the 15th, but um, that's it. That's really all the excitement for January as of right now. I mean, it, the, trust me, guys, we have had excitement, but it wasn't planned. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff going on in the neighborhood right now. Um, it's not for this video. <laughs> so, all I know is don't go outside. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. I, in, like I said, I'm so used to decorating these, like, oh man, if you need to go back to some of my, like, previous videos, like the last monthly filmings that I used to do, like, these things are normally elaborate, but, um, I'm just gonna say, for simplicity's sake, um, we're just going into January pretty much bare. <laughs> 
because I got to get back into the flow of this. And uh, I mean, I am pretty excited to have a little monthly layout again. It's It's been a while. So uh, that's it. That's so again, like we took these goals, we broke them down, but then those goals are these goals broken down. And uh, that's really the secret to successful goal planning right there. And see, that's where you get your values. So now you just know what I'm talking about whenever I'm like, oh, these are my three goals of the week and this is the values that I used. Like, I hope it makes sense. And of course, like we already had the self-cares written out, so that was easy to get those. And of course, you know, this is one of those habits that I wanted to build. So I'm hoping that you are seeing like how this all ties together now. <laughs> And again, my little vision board for each month. I love them things. And uh, I mean, I'll be making a little memory board. And then we get to do it all over again for February, right? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to make a weekly layout in this thing. Okay. So I think this is a good place right here. Um, we're just going to close out and just, again, thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. And please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more Playing With Me's.